Hello there everybody and welcome back to Fable 2. We're going to be doing some more solo stuff today. Uh, last video we got married and we got ourselves into some sort of weird love story that turned out well for everybody so I guess that's a good thing. I just kind of left off in Rookridge because we're only going to be doing one more quest uh, and then I might go back to my main file and show off some other stuff that I wanted to show off before going back to some co-op. So. Uh, the next one we're going to be doing is Cold Comfort Farmer. Like I mentioned in the last video, this uh, has two sides to it. You can do uh, the good side of it, which is going to be helping the farmer family that Ripper has been terrorizing. And then the evil side of this is to help Ripper. So uh, regardless of which one you pick, it's the same amount of reward for the most part. There might be some more gold helping the bandits. Um, I'm not too sure about that, but Renown is the same, and they're both pretty much the same level of like difficulty it's you know nothing too crazy at this point even without all the upgrading I've been doing I think I'll be able to do to do this quest so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to select it now it says I have not found this location yet uh, fortunately it is a place in uh, Brightwood but for some reason uh, it, it's like a very specific location if you know what I mean like it's in the region of Brightwood but it's actually like a separate area of the map um, kinda like a Bowerstone Cemetery if you didn't actually walk into the cemetery it would tell you that yet you haven't found the, the location yet when you found Bowerstone um, it's kinda the same kind of situation so uh, we need to go to Brightwood which is gonna take us a little while to warp to but that's okay alright so in Brightwood, I'm just going to go ahead and follow the Golden Trail, and it's going to lead us to the farm that we're going to. Uh, it'll be explained a little bit more to us when we get there, but because of the characters in this game talk so much, uh, long story short, like the description of the quest said, there's been bandit problems with this poor farming family who's just trying to you know, live their days out doing an honest day's work, and they need a hero to come and uh, help them deal with the problem. So that's what we're going to be doing and if you follow the golden trail it'll take you right to the farm which is right here actually um, doesn't look like much of a farm it's kinda just a random house in the middle of nowhere but okay well let's l let's hear them out see what they have to say I guess I better knock on the door and be polite about it what? did you call for me what? I'm a hero hello regretted. open the door mm. oh god please don't shoot what do you want then Whew, okay, thank Your you. Apologies, stranger. Well, welcome to my farm. <laughs> Not as much of anything growing here these days. Doesn't look like there's much growing here, buddy. Ripper and his lot. I've been trying to run us off this land for months. Me, my son, my wife. I told them to go hang. So, they came right back and killed her. Killed my wife right in front of me. You have any idea what that's like? I've sent my son away until it's safe. Until I've done, I've done what needs to be done. I was a guard for 30 years. I've dealt with a lot of bandits. But Ripper, that bastard is something else. He's a coward, a butcher. Find him, please. Bring him to me. All right. So this guy really, really needs Thank our you. help. Remember. That's kind of brutal actually I mean they're bandits but that is just brutal having your wife shot in front of you to see her oh man I feel really bad for him so we are definitely going to help him out and do keep in mind that he's asked us to keep Ripper alive if we can um, so we're gonna also respect his wish in that regard we're gonna kind of beat these guys to a pulp and see what happens alright so there's a lot of bandits that come up on this road here, so just kind of be on your guard and use whatever it is that you want to use to defeat them as per usual. Um, like I said, I haven't like leveled up as much as I think I should because you can see I have a lot of experience in some of the pools, but being that I am at the same point uh, that I am in the other file, it's not like uh, you know I'm really that, that far off from where it is I should be. So if you have some better equipment and you're all leveled up this will obviously be a little bit easier but it's not like we haven't been dealing with bandits since the beginning of this game we defeated Thag in the very beginning which was one of the bandit I guess sort of like leaders 
And then we defeated Dash pathetically in one good shot to the heart with our bow, which is which is seriously like the saddest boss battle that has ever existed ever. It's so disappointing. And then this guy is just kind of a, a different kind of story. He's kind of like another one of the you know bandit kind of leaders. Uh, but he's in Brightwood, and uh, he is a little stronger than the other guys because Thag was in um, Bowerstone, I do believe. Um, and then Dash was in Rookridge, and then this guy's in Brightwood, so it's just kind of like a bandit leader in each area of Albion, it seems like, so far. And of course, they have their own little camp here, so we're just going to take these guys out. I'm trying to shoot this guy, but it wouldn't let me, I guess, because I had to load into the area first. But anyways, start beating some more ass, basically, is all we're doing here. I actually have a pretty good weapon, I think. I think this thing is doing like 40 or 50 damage, so a lot of these bandits that aren't the, the bigger guys, like this guy here I'm trying to defeat is a little bigger, so he takes a couple hits, but the little guys, like these guys only take two or three hits to defeat with a sword. Um, so that's why I'm using the sword, because it seems like it's not taking as long and it's a little bit faster. Because there's a lot of bandits here, so... I'm just gonna take these guys out as effectively as I can, but I have healing items and stuff too, so I'm not really all that worried. And I can imagine that uh, Ripper himself really isn't gonna be that big of a deal. Or, you know, so I hope, anyways. That'd be a bummer if he was just like uberly strong and amazing, although, like I said, I really doubt it. But there's quite a few guards here, so this is good for experience too. Um, especially because there's so many of them, you can kind of space it out. You can. Uh, Use, the, use your magic and your arrows when they're far away, and then when they come a little closer, that's when you can use your uh, your sword if you want. I'm kind of a multitasking person. I just kind of try to do a little bit of a little bit of everything so I can put my experience into a bunch of different pools. Although I am generally going for guns and arrows and uh, bows. But then again, also this is a different file, so I can just kind of do whatever the hell I want. It doesn't really matter too much. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of bandits. A lot more than the other guys had, that's for sure. I'm just whooping ass, cleaning house, taking names. I should be able to level up and get a couple levels up, I hope, after this is done. Really good if you can get them, you can hit them from behind, because then they don't have time to turn around, they're like stunned. They do block a lot though, even if I am pretty strong, so... Times like this, it's good to like shock them with a shock spell or a fire spell or something to kind of stun them, and then you can go in with your sword again, and uh, that usually works. Kind of like I don't know, like stuns them and then just kind of takes them by surprise and breaks their guard a little bit. So I really hope that he's gonna come out soon, because I've just murdered legions and legions of bandits. There can't be that many left. Although I guess, you know, I can see why this guy's having a problem with these guys. Because this is a lot of bandits to take care of. And this isn't even the leader yet. I don't think we're even close to the leader, so... Come on, die. As you can see, it, yeah, if I did have a stronger weapon or I had more physique or something, uh, it would be a little easier. My guy's a little, like, string bean pole. Which is why he's so scrawny. If he had some muscles on him, it, you know, he would be a little, a little tougher. Probably worth leveling up after I'm done with this too. Come on, just die already. I know you want to. Those would really hurt. Getting your, getting hit in the sword, or getting hit in the sword. Wow, getting hit in the face with a sword multiple times. I'm also doing very poorly, as you can see. Uh, I'm getting no bonus experience from these fights just because they're taking me so long. But there we go. Now that was a mistake. You can hear Ripper talking in the background. And then he's gonna drop down, I think. Where are you gonna come from behind? Are you gonna Oh oh god, right in front. Hi, hi, how are you? Alright, so here's Ripper himself. He's a pretty big guy, but it's not like he's any sort of like unique bandit design we've never seen before, so 
He's just like any other bandit, uh, except that he's going to be a little stronger. And he's kind of like a boss, so he's going to drop little experience orbs as the fight progresses as you kind of hit him with different weapons. Uh, he can block. If you use an arrow, he'll block a lot of the time. So I don't recommend using arrows unless that's your primary method of attacking uh, him. Oh god, move. Thank you. And yeah, he can also knock you over quite easily. So, you can see he's dodging. I'm just trying to stay away because I'm getting a little low on health. And I think he's going to kick my ass here soon. You can also roll, which is quite effective. I like the rolling system in this game. You can roll backwards, you can roll sideways, you can roll forwards. And it really does work quite well. Kind of like last minute, kind of roll out of the way sort of thing. Except for he, he does that. He also teleports in front of you. So, that's fun. I didn't know bandits learned magic. I didn't think they were smart enough, but I guess this guy, you know, being that he is quite powerful, can do stuff like that. I'm just trying to hit him from afar, because he's a jerk. And there we go. Don't have to kill him, just have to beat him up enough to the point where he surrenders, which doesn't take too long, but... Very wrong. Justice is what I need. So then he's going to ask us what it is we're going to do. You can either kill him or you can take him to the farmer. And the farmer did ask us to actually spare him. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to spare him. And then Farmer Giles shows up. Randomly he just this. teleports. For whatever reason. You. I've dreamt about this magnificent. I also can pick up his sword. So this I'm doing that. Don't pull dreams, oh god. You. You're gonna pay Ripper. Yeah, yeah. Just take me to your picture. I'm just watching this cutscene of like what I happens after the quest. I could use the holiday. I don't think so. What? No! It wasn't me! One of my men! Please, adventurer, talk to him! No. She wouldn't know one of this. You're coming to bow us down with me, and you're gonna hang. I'll make damn sure of it. And then he goes and he deals uh, justice for him. So well, the farmer was actually an old guard, so he is going to uh, take him and hopefully get him uh, hanged, hung, whatever the uh, proper terminology is. And uh, for the most part, we broke up the big bandit group in Brightwood, so that gives you uh, lots of renown, a lot of renown, uh, some good points and, you know, treasures and, you know, all that good stuff, so to end the video off, I guess I'll just look around this area to see if there's any chests or treasures or anything that I missed. Some of the guys might have dropped some weapons. Um, I th I'm not sure if Ripper dropped that uh, sword or if it was just one of the random ones that I, I picked up, but it was right by his body, so I assumed he dropped it. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot going on in this area, though. There's also a gate up here uh, that you can open. I actually do not know where this goes. There's a silver key down there, too. Oh, I can actually open this gate, but I'm sure you can later. I think it's just like a shortcut sort of thing. Uh, and there is a key down there to grab, which I will come back for uh, later. And then once that quest is over, I think if we check our quest log, there really isn't much else. Um, nothing else is going to really pop up until it is that we finish up the Crucible. Um, so as long as you have enough renown and as long as you have um, gone ahead and you have done a lot of the quests up to this point, you really shouldn't have any problems getting into the Crucible. You really shouldn't uh, have any problems with uh, equipment or money or anything like that if you've kind of just been playing your stocks right and uh, you've been playing the game really, really smart. So I guess I'm just kind of running around for no apparent reason because I can kind of end this video. Um, I'm going to go back to my other file now that I've kind of caught up and I've done the quest that I screwed up uh, recording on that file and I'm just going to do some update stuff so um, you know housing and uh, weapons and money and stuff like that before we move on to the crucible so that's it for me thanks for watching everybody and i will see you next time